Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to email web pages and links to web pages using Safari and Mail in Mountain Lion. So, Mountain Lion changes the way that you share web pages through email. There are some new features, and if you're used to just emailing links, you need to know how to set it up so you can do that. Let me show you. Now, say you want to email this web page. The way you do it out in Mountain Lion is use the Share button. The Share button appears here. You can click on it and you get options. Now you get a lot of these same options if you go to File and then Share here. So you can go either way to Email. And when you say Email this page, it will open up a composition window in the Mail app. Now, of course, you have to have the Mail app all configured. If you're somebody that uses, say, web based email like web based Yahoo or web based Gmail, then of course you continue just copying pasting links like you did before. But for those of us that use the Mail app, um, or even another mail app like Outlook. As long as you have it set as your default, uh, it should actually open a composition window. Now, in mail, you actually have several options. Now, your intention here may have been to actually email a link to the web page. That's how it used to work in the past. And you notice, oh, it actually has the entire web page in here. Um, how do I change that? Well, you'll see this little thing here called Send Web Content As. And you have four options now under Mountain Line. So what you want to do is if you just want to email a link, go to Link Only. And then it works as it did before where it just sends a copy of the link. And even better is they will remember the default setting here. So if you set it to Link Only that first time, then from then on every time that you share as an email, it will assume you want Link Only and you can operate as normal. So this is how you do it and you would paste in the email address here and then you would type anything else you want in addition to the link in the body of the message and hit send. If you want to try one of these other things, they're quite useful. For instance, web page itself will actually send the web page as an email, an HTML email. Uh, an even better way to send it that's much more compatible across browsers and platforms is as a PDF. It's actually going to compile the web page as a PDF file. And then another option is to send it as a reader page. So what is Reader. Well, Reader will actually just take the article text, assuming it is some sort of article or blog post or something like that, um, and actually put that in there. So it's very similar to if we would go back to Safari and click on the Reader link, and you can see it right under here. Click on Reader, and then you get the Reader content. So it's a way to basically send somebody a news article without including all the rest of the stuff on the page. Now here I sent all four variations to myself and you can see what I get here. As link only I just get the link in an email message. Pretty simple. Uh, if I go to Reader I get what looks like the Reader content. Just the article itself, all the images included with links and a link to the web page. Uh, as a PDF I get a file there. I can select it and let me use Spotlight here to preview it. Um, and I can see that it looks like I get something very close to the reader content here as a PDF. So a little different than if you were to print the page, save it as a PDF from printing and then email that to somebody. Um, and then if I do it as a web page you can see here I get what looks like the whole web page uh, even with a lot of active elements. It leaves off a few things uh, so it's not complete but it gives a pretty good representation of the page. Of course if you're in the middle of composing an email already one of the easiest things to do might be just to go in here, select the address, copy it, and go into the email and paste it in. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Most email clients will interpret a full URL as something that's clickable so you don't have to worry about making it a link. That should happen automatically on the other end if it doesn't happen on yours. Now the system is far from perfect. I found some weird quirks. Like for instance if in mail you have yourself set to send only plain text emails it looks like it sends the web page and the reader content as normal but actually it's sending a plain text version which actually uh, in and of itself is kind of useful. You should try that if you're a fan of sending plain text email. Uh, also I noticed if I click on Reader to open the reader content in a web page and then click on Share it will actually send the web page as the reader content not as the actual web page content. And the same thing uh, if you're doing reader it actually send a reader version of the reader content which is really strange. So it's uh, not exactly bug free but it seems to work pretty well uh, no matter what you want to do. So hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.